What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I am very excited. We have a lot going on today in this video. We are going to be working on and fixing the lawnmower, fixing the truck, and picking up something that is going to absolutely change everything here for us. We are so excited to show you guys. We have got pallets being dropped off of supplies. Y'all leave a comment down below if you can guess what that is for. We have our she shed, which is now filled with something that it wasn't supposed to be filled with. But Marcy and I are both okay with it because it's going to be a little temporary. Um, but it is a huge, huge step in the right direction. So I will show you guys that here towards the end of the video. But let's get started. We're going to work on the lawnmower, which you can see is no longer sitting right there. It is now over there, which means something happened to it. All right, we are here now working on the lawnmower itself. We're going to see. I really, really fingers crossed. Hope I can get this thing put back together. I think I have all of the new parts and the parts that we fixed at my dad's house, as you guys saw. So I'm just going to start throwing this back together. Fingers crossed. Everything's going to go back together right. I also bought some new bushings for the steering wheel itself. This piece right here is super loose on that. So I'm going to try and replace that bushing as well. I honestly have zero idea how to do that, but like everything else, we're going to figure it out. We'll get the front remounted on, get that stuff welded up, tacked back together. And fingers crossed, we'll have a working lawnmower by the end of the day. I don't know because I know I accidentally, when I took it apart, I snapped. I actually broke this and let's see if I can find it to show you. I broke this end of the tie rod this is the steering tie rod it's supposed to look like that not like that so i did snap that off i've got to see if i can replace that it honestly kind of looks like i might have to replace the whole bar which is going to be a bummer because i forgot and i didn't really plan on it so that means i won't have all of the parts let's just get into it and see what we come up with this and this one goes like that. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Y'all see that? Heck yeah. Oh. What did you grab? Got your hammer? Oh, nice. What you gonna do with that? It's a lawnmower. Oh. I had to bring this up and bring it. Oh, boom. <laughs> In it? It's a spider. So while I was working on the lawnmower, I found some more parts that needed to be replaced. So I ordered those and the truck broke down during that time. And so I had to then work on that. All right, well, I think this is the truck parts, y'all. Let's open this up. You'll hear Maverick crying in the background. He's uh, not wanting to go to bed tonight. It is what it is. But I think we're gonna be able to get the truck running. I really, really hope so. Oh, yep, this is it. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to take these out there. We're going to get the truck torn apart and hopefully put back together. We also have babies running everywhere. So y'all stay tuned. I will show you that as well. And for those of you that don't know, let me catch you up to speed on truck issues. So. We know that the AC has been out for a while and we knew we needed to fix it, just hadn't gotten around to it. And honestly, this truck we know probably won't last us super much longer. And so I wasn't super worried about it. Well, turns out that if the pump goes bad, it will actually stop 
turning and it turns when the engine turns and so because it stopped turning it wouldn't let the engine turn so now the engine is completely bound up and won't turn over because of the ac pump so of course the ac pump is that really rusted thing right there and it's going to be a pain in the butt to get to and they say you have to kind of remove all of this I don't really want to do that and they say you I mean there's some people that do it without doing it and some people that do it with doing it so I don't know exactly what to suspect expect but I guess I'm going to take y'all along on the short and condensed verse of uh, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it like I said I've never done this before so y'all aren't going to be learning anything from me necessarily you're just going to be doing it with me so let me watch a quick YouTube video figure out where to start I have to climb under here and try and get at these bolts I think I might take this tray off. That'll help. I do have a jack stand and the jack. I know that's not the right mounting or jacking point. That's just a safety one. That's the real one that I've got holding it. I'll take this off. I think I'll have much better access because it's right there. So you can see that bolt actually. There's two of them right there. Both of those have got to come out. One skid plate expertly removed. I'm glad I'm doing this right now. It's a little bit cooler in the evening. It's still stinking hot, but Maverick is asleep. So that's good. So I'm seeing what looks like is a leaking AC line potentially. I'm not sure if that's AC or not, but if it is, we're going to end up probably replacing it. But there is the culprit. Yeah, that's, that would do it. Randall's just here hard at work. <sighs> you guys. Look at this. I'm completely covered. I need a pair of safety glasses. I'll go get you. You think we have some? Yeah. Thanks, Barb. She sent us a whole bunch of safety glasses. And some other stuff I'm going to end up probably using on this. Oh, it's getting loose. Hallelujah. Holy cow. <laughs> this is full of rubber and metal. And no wonder our AC pump didn't work. Well, I just came into the house. Wow, my lens is really dirty. I had no idea my face. It looks like I've got flipping face paint on. I don't know even how that happened. That's wild, y'all. It's the next morning. As you guys know, I've been at work for a week, so we're taking it a little bit slow this morning, and we need to go to the auto parts store and buy a kit to flush out the AC system. So we're gonna it's go do only that. It's 7.30. Yeah, it is 7.30. It's not like it's nine. <laughs> no, I know, but it's still, I'm not just jumping straight into it. So we're gonna go to AutoZone, we're gonna go get donuts, and then we're gonna go drive around a little bit, spend some family time together this morning, and then me and Maverick are gonna come back, and hopefully, fingers crossed, get the truck working. Uh, I think we should be able to get it running. I just hope we can do it right so that we don't have to do this again. I know, you boys forgot how to be in your car seat. Maverick, what do you want to say? Say hi, everybody. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing today? Uh, fixing truck. Yeah, we're going to fix the truck and? Get donuts. And get donuts. <laughs> hi, Pax. Hi, Paxton. Hi, that's a good smile. I'm Ars. <laughs> With me being so busy at work, I basically was leaving before the kids, before the twins woke up, and then I came home after they went to bed. So I haven't seen them for a long time. So it's good to be able to spend some time with them today. And Maverick. He got a mosquito bite right on his forehead, y'all. All right, boys. Let's go, you three stooches. Rolling, rolling down the highway. More like the back road. Yeah. So we just got donuts. Maverick, what kind of donut did you get? Pink donut, donut holes. Pink donut and donut holes. Marsh, what did you get? I had a chocolate donut with sprinkles. What did I get? A cake donut. Blueberry cake donut. Right on. All right, we also stopped at O'Reilly's, which I don't really like O'Reilly's, but it is what it is. And uh, 
I got the, hopefully the rest of the stuff that we need for the AC system on the truck. So let's go see if we can get it fixed. Okay, Marcy says I have to record. What? So just be careful while you're fixing the truck, getting into your boxes. Be Did Goose pee on it? Goose just went to pee on it. Freak Goose, he always does that. Gosh dang it. All right, we're gonna have to go wash off my tools. Ugh, dumb dog. Oh, okay, then that's fine. Oh, Maverick, you got your stool? Yeah. Okay, so we got Maverick out here. He's gonna help me work on the house, work on the house, work on the truck. We uh, picked up the cleaning stuff we need. So hopefully we can do this. Maverick, you got your toolbox, you ready to help? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I got it. I had to take off, let me show you guys. So I took off the pinion arm here. I think that's what that is and I was able to move the sway bar or the steering bar and have the pump fall out. So that's definitely the easiest way. A lot of other people will take out the radiator and all that, but I think it's easier to just undo these two bolts and then kind of wiggle it out and so it drops out there. You can see the AC lines connect right there to the pump. So here's the old one that is uh, going in the trash. Well, now that I got all taken apart, got the oil put in the new pump, I'm gonna put it all back together. I hope it goes together as easy, easier than it came apart. A few moments later. Well, I can't believe it. That only took me like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get it put back together. I got the new one of those put on. I can't even think what it's called. Got the lines hooked up. Got the pump hooked up, got the belt back on. Got the steering arm put back on. I think I'm ready to start it. So I'm pretty nervous, hooked the battery up. We're gonna turn it over and fingers crossed, nothing terrible happens, that it works, it starts, the AC works. We gotta charge the system still, but we should be able to at least, you know, have the truck start. Here we go. It's running. That's a win. That's a win. Y'all, I got it running. I am so stoked. I've got to take it into the shop. You know, there are some things that I just can't do. To recharge the AC system, I have to take it into a shop where they will actually put a vacuum on the AC line to suck out all of the air before they add the refrigerant into it. So it runs, it drives, it makes way less noise than it used to, which is awesome. So I'm excited. I'm going to take it in and have the shop just recharge the AC, but I've been driving it and it works great. So the parts also came for the lawnmower and I started putting those back together. Let's show you guys that. After a whole lot of work, a couple of trips to the store, I think we got it. I got the whole steering reset up. I got four bolts on both sides. I got the new arm put on. The steering is super tight now, which I am very glad about. So we're fixing to go try it out. I just got to get the last part, which, oh, which is this arm but as you can see that's bent and i forgot to take it to my dad's to straighten it out so we're gonna have to see if i can figure out how to get that to line up in there to get the pins in if i can get the pins in we will be golden let's start this thing up i feel like oh we are missing one pin let me go get that one pin tires are still holding air put the transmission back in gear i think we're going to be mowing and i cannot be more excited couldn't be more excited oh my gosh it's been like a month we bought the mower mowed once then it broke and uh, then and now it's been a month so i'm beyond ready to have this thing back up and running and just functioning again i do need to do some more welding on it um as i told you guys i'm going to add i'm gonna add a uh, uh some support brackets so I, I don't need the support brackets for just mowing our yard because that's there's no wear and tear really on the machine with that. But for going and doing like mowing some of the taller, thicker grass, I will need that. So we're just gonna see if this is working, see what other adjustments need to be made. And then I'll do that off camera, get it all souped up exactly how I want it. But let's put this pin in, see if it'll even start. It's been so long. All right, moment of truth. So 
So in the meantime of all of this going on, we also ordered our kitchen cabinets. Can you guys believe it? I seriously can't believe it. I don't know like what emotion I'm like excited. It's also gonna be a lot of work. Uh, and I'm like nervous. We're trying to figure out, I mean, this is like the biggest final step in our house is getting the kitchen all the way completely done. And so it's just kind of a little bit nerve wracking, but we got those cabinets. I'll play a couple of clips there. Uh, for you guys as well and emerald also hatched three baby ducks let me show you guys because they are so cute emerald look at the little babies look at the little babies why are you guys being shy huh why are you guys being shy look at them guys they are so cute so I obviously love all baby animals, baby chickens, baby ducks, baby goats, you know, all of them. But I'll tell you what, out of all the birds like chickens and ducks, I would much rather have baby ducks because I feel like they stay cute for so much longer than baby chickens. I mean, baby chickens are still great, but baby ducks are just so much cuter. I also have some good news as far as the chickens go. Well, okay, actually I have some good and bad news. The good news is, they have started laying. The new ones that we hatched in January have started laying eggs. The bad news is we lost two of the older chickens. So I don't know what happened. I literally just went out one day. They were perfectly fine. Went out the next day and they had uh, died in the chicken coop. So I don't know if they got bit by a snake, if they got egg bound, what's going on. Because we've been trying to do everything to get these chickens back to like healthy, healthy. And it's been working, so I don't know what caused it. It just, it just is what it is. But all of the other ones are starting to lay, which I am just excited about. We also have a weird thing where this chicken has stayed this size for the last four months, and so has that one. All of the other ones have grown, but these two, for some reason, stopped growing, which is just really weird. So I'm bummed that we lost two of the, uh, two of the hens. Oh, yep, yeah, they're all like going crazy. But I am really excited that they're starting to lay again and that the new ones are starting to lay. It is a big deal. We've been waiting so long for this. And yo, look at this. You gotta be kidding me. It's so nice to have eggs starting to be laid. It is so nice. Y'all aren't freeloading anymore. So we did change the feed to uh, the even remember the name of it it's like kombalchi or something like that feed and that's when they started laying so i don't know if our old feed had that much to do with it or if just kind of everything accumulated at the same time where we got rid of the uh, the lice and then they started laying at the same time i'm not exactly sure if it was just the food or if it was something else but long and short is they're laying again which is just it's so so nice so let me show you guys us picking up the cabinets now, I did film some of this before I had this truck fixed and some of it after. You guys will see and understand what I'm talking about in just a sec. Well, I'm at Lowe's. I had to take Marcy's car because the truck is stuck. It won't start. The uh, AC compressor is broken, as you guys probably know. You've probably already seen that video. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how many, um, how many of the cabinets we can fit in the car. So I got to drive it over there. We're going to start loading it up, see what we can do. Hopefully, I, I don't think we're going to fit all of them, but hopefully we can get pretty close and uh, get at least half of them loaded up. Let's see how, how this is going to go. Well, we only were able to fit two, which is a big bummer, but at least we're making some progress. So we got the two loaded up. I'll be back here at least two more times to hopefully get the rest of them. Oh my gosh, that has been a pain in the butt to get these. But we got the truck fixed. We got the cabinets all loaded up the rest of them. Look white. It is. And uh, yeah, we're ready. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna put them in the she shed and they're gonna sit there for a little while, which is a bummer. Cause like Marcy said, we're ready to just put them in and you know, get our kitchen rolling, but I'm still finishing up a job. We got a bunch of other stuff going on. So we're accumulating all of the supplies so we can just do it all. And probably it'll probably take us a week to do the whole project. Well, would you look at that? I cannot believe we have these at our house and that they're like ready to go in the house. Like it just blows my mind that we're to this point. We did not expect this to happen this quickly, but it's happening. So we're super, super excited about it. That's gonna be coming in a couple of weeks. 
I've got uh, some other little things we're finishing up first. We've got to paint the house still, paint the kitchen area, take down the old cabinets. Thankfully, we're able to reuse a bunch of the old cabinets that we did have. So that's going to be a huge saver there. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was all over the place with the five different projects that we were working on and the things we were getting done. But I can just say I feel good about it because we got the truck fixed, we got the lawnmower fixed, and we got the cabinets here. So I am beyond stoked about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see y'all on the next one.